Awkward Crowd and welcome to another episode of Awkward Victoria. For today's episode, I am doing a snack crate as you can tell within the title. It's going to be a snack crate today. And for anybody who does not know what snack crate is, it is you trying different snacks from around the world. I am very excited. Snack crate is one of my favorite subscriptions. And for today's snack crate, we are trying Brazil. It looks like they have changed their pamphlets a little bit. They used to be kind of like a little bit more bland than this. I wonder if I could find a one that I had before. So apparently I do not have that, but I will say they did change their boxes too. Uh, this is what the box used to look like. See, very small letterings. And this is what the new crate looks like. A lot more bolder letterings. It even has like the, uh, you know, this month, get social with us. It looks like they brought in their words a little bit. But other than that, Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started on this month's snack crate. Again, it is from Brazil. Let's read some fun facts from Brazil before, so that way we can go ahead and get into like the nice culture of Brazil before we try these amazing tasty treats. Oh, also, they give you stickers now. I don't know if this is because I've been with snack crate for a long time, but they give you stickers now. That's kind of cool. Okay, some fun facts about Brazil. The word Brazil comes from the Portuguese word for Brazil wood, a tree that once grew plentifully along the Brazilian coast. Brazil contains 60% of the Amazon rainforest. Rio de Janeiro, 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 excuse me, was once the capital of Portugal. There are 70 uncontracted tribes that live in the Amazon rainforest. Brazil shares a border with all South American countries except for Chile and Ecuador. Sorry, that's always a hard word for me to say. Excuse me if I do not pronounce words very good. I do not read very good. I apologize. But anyways, as you guys know, I do not open up the snack crate until I eat it with in front of you guys. Go ahead and open this puppy up. All right, and now let's see what we got. Well, the first thing that pops in on me is these peanut looking things. Let's see what these peanut things are. Biscuit. Okay, I apologize if I pronounce any of these words wrong. It is basically what this says right there. Yeah, that is what it says. I don't know what it says, but that's what it says. All right. It smells like a cheeseburger. It tastes like toast. Well, at least to me, it tastes like toast. It's not bad. It tastes like butter toast. I like that. I love butter toast. Butter toast is my favorite thing to eat in the morning. I like that. They're kind of like really crunchy. They got like a lot of air to it. I like the crunch. I like the texture. Very good. Next on our list is Torcida Jr. Torcida Jr. Here's what it looks like. Fried cheese bread squares. Torcida is also what Brazilians call their soccer team. I hope I said that right because I apologize if I did not say that right. I smell cheese. Oh my god, that's amazing. It literally tastes like I went to the fair. I am something with like a nice deep fried crunch cheese taste. Oh man, I wish we had these in America. Jesus Christ, these are really good. I have to look up and see if I could buy these and sh ship them to America because these are fantastic for snacks. On to the next thing. And as everybody knows, I tried to drink the drink kind of like in the middle now. So for today's drink, it is water. Ana Antacetica, Brazilian original. I don't know what it just what I just said. That's what the can looks like. Again, I apologize if I do not pronounce the words right. I am just guessing from here. What does it say the drink is? A high, a high caffeine soda made from the guana fruit native to the Amazon basin. It tastes sort of like apple with a berry finish. I like that. I like apple. I like berries. Let's try this thing out. Where's my cup? Wow. I just got like a sniff of berries in my nose. Never mind. It smells kind of weird now. All right, let's try. Let's see what this color looks like. Oh, this, look, this looks actually kind of interesting. It looks like an apple juice kind of ginger ale look. Looks kind of good. Smells kind of good. I don't taste the apples. It's weird. There's like not much of a taste, but I taste the berry aftertaste. I taste the berry taste, but I don't really taste the apple taste. Maybe it's vaguely there, but it's not very pungent apple. I do taste the berry taste, but this is actually really good. Very refreshing, very good. I approve of this soda. If anybody wants to get this soda, this is what it looks like one more time. That is the other side of the can, but that is okay. This is what the can looks like. Very, very 
very, very pretty, I guess. Paco Keita? Paco Keita, I guess is what it says. There we go. That is what the packaging looks like. This is the most beloved peanut butter candy in all Brazil. Small in size, big in flavor. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm very excited about this. I love peanut butter. Ooh, it's crumbling apart. Smells like peanut butter. Mmm. That is amazing. Holy crap. It does taste like I'm eating legit peanut butter and it's not like sweet like some peanut butter snacks I usually have like you know they're like oh it's peanut butter it's usually super sweet I mean it has a sweet taste to it but it doesn't have that bad of a sweet taste to it but it's actually very very good it has a little bit of peanut crunch to it so it's got some peanuts I'm gonna eat the whole rest of this thing I like that peanut butter is gluing my mouth together. I am really liking Brazil's snack crate so far. This is actually very fantastic. If everything turns out to be amazing, it might be the Germany snack crate that I love so much. Let's go ahead and try the next thing. Garoto Talento with Brazil nuts. A winning combination of rich milk chocolates and exotic chopped Brazil nuts. And it's chocolate, so I love chocolate. Believe it or not, dark chocolate's my favorite compared to milk chocolate, but milk chocolate's still fantastic. It's interesting. It's not bad interesting. It's just, it's a different interesting. Like, it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like that. I like them, I like them Brazil nuts, I guess. It's pretty good with the soda, too. Last but not least, I got this Seven Bello. Looks like these little candy things. And as always, Snack Crate loves to just toss them in your crate, which is okay by me. I actually find it kind of funny. These raspberry fruit chews are a nostalgia bomb for Brazilians longing for their youth. Longing for their youth, you say? I love to long, long for my youth, too. It's really, yeah, it's really hard. It doesn't taste like raspberries to me. To me, to me, it kind of tastes like almost like a bubblegum taste with a bit, like a bubblegum with a hint of tutti frutti. That's what I'm tasting. Wow, this is really chewy. Definitely a bubblegum with a hint of fruity, tutti frutti with that one. Make sure you chew it all the way because you don't want to swallow it when it's half done and then you end up choking. All right, guys, that is actually going to be it for me for today. This was actually a very good snack crate. I love this snack crate a lot. Snack crate seems to keep surprising me with better and better snacks that they come out with in each crate. I am going to have to say, Brazil, you have won over Germany, which was my favorite one. It had a lot of chocolate to it and stuff, but this one's definitely one of my favorite when it comes to a lot of tasty different snacks. Um, the soda was fantastic. The chips were amazing. Especially these. I love these a lot. You need to send these in like, I don't care if it's not from Brazil. If I get like a Japanese crate, I love a thing of these. So that way I could just have Japanese stuff and then I can have like some Brazil, these, these amazing Brazil treats. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Anyways, that's actually gonna be it for me for today. Again, I do highly recommend Snack Crate if you guys do not have it already. You get snacks from around the world. I am wanting to try different types of Snack Crate, not just Snack Crate, but I mean like different, uh, like I guess somebody mentioned Munch Pack, uh, Japanese Crate. I'm wanting to try different crates. If anybody has a suggestion for me, please comment down below and tell me what's your favorite monthly kind of like food eating that you get once a month. Again, somebody mentioned Munch Pack. I'm going to go ahead and look into that. Uh, but please comment down below for your favorite crate that you get once a month. That again, that has to involve food. That's going to be it for me for today. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, Aqua Victoria, of course. And I hope you like this video of Snack Crate. Anyways, my name is Aqua Victoria. And I will see you guys later. Bye.